I certainly sort of appreciate the opportunity to be here and to be here in about a, I guess, half hour or so uh, from now to talk about the 2020 legislative session. But I was, I'm here to introduce somebody who really needs no introduction. But as, a, as part of that, I wanted to tell just a real quick story about him uh, that not many people may know. And that is on the, because it relates to economic development. You know, on the second day of the legislative, on the second day of the Justice Administration, the second day in office, we all kind of sat around the table, about 10 of us, and he said, okay, what do, because they're what we're called, the governor gets sworn in, the legislature comes in for a day, and then they recess for 30 days to let the new governor get up to speed and get the uh, legislative agenda put together. So he said, what do we have teed up as big? And as somebody who chaired the Governor's Highway Reform Commission in the, in the previous administration, I said, well, Governor, we've got a roads investment uh, opportunity that has about a $1.8 billion price tag uh, associated with it. We can get the legislature on board. And he paused for a few seconds and he said, he said, I like that. I like that idea, Jason. But he said, I'll tell you what. He said, add a billion to it. Rewrite it. Add a billion dollars to it. So we're $2.8 billion. And then, and then that's rolling. Uh, and that's exactly what we did. And so when I think about economic development, I think about that very first day where we kicked off, or he kicked off, a $2.8 billion investment. About $900 million has already been invested with about another billion and a half less to go. Think about where we'd be uh, without roads to prosperity. So as a business guy who was elected governor in 2016, uh, sworn in in January 2017, I think he understands better than anybody how important economic development is to all 55 counties, and I hope you'll stand and uh, give Governor Tim Justice a warm welcome. Thank you so much for having me. You know, uh, you're a group that is really going to be fun to speak to. And that is because, you know, of all groups, we have to be speaking the same language. You know, you've heard this over and over and over, but I'm a business guy. You know, I'm not a politician. You know, I am much, much different than lots and lots and lots of folks that have been here in the past. I recognize without any question that we got to have jobs, we got to have opportunity, we got to have economic development, we got to have you, we got to have you in our counties and our cities, regions all across this state and everything you do. And then you've got to have a leader of the band that really believes what you believe and what you want. And then you've got to have a leader of the band that has the creativeness to make it all come together. Now, we can say what we want. The numbers don't lie. We're lots better. I mean, in the last three years, What's happened to this state is unbelievable. If you look just at the numbers, and really and truly, we need to look at the numbers. Now, beyond that, what can we do next? You know, it is unthinkable when you really step back from it and you think of what all's going on. If you really knew of the meetings that I take day after day after day after day, and the people that come and talk about coming to West Virginia, it's, it's off the chart. The opportunities for us to grab hold of right now are right in front of us. Now with all that, if we don't watch out, we're gonna get in our own way. And so I'm trying in every way under the sun to keep us always from getting in our own way. We have an incredible state. We have so many opportunities, it's off the chart. I said this, and you know, I truly mean this. 
I give the good Lord credit for all the good ideas, and I'll take the credit for the bad ideas that I come up with. But in all of that, now you just think about, where did this come from? Where in the world did it come from? I'm not smart enough to come up with this on my own. You know, but in one of the debates in the primary, long time ago, you know, I said, just think about a place. A place that had four of the most beautiful seasons on the planet. And a place that had the greatest people under, under the sun, faith-based and good people and family and craftsmen. And then think about a place that would abound in natural resources off the chart. Coal, oil, gas, timber, water, all the things that are just there. And think about a place that was within striking distance of two-thirds of the population of the country. And then I stepped back and I said, and just what if that place were called West Virginia? How in the world can we be dead last? How can we not abound in opportunity beyond belief? I never could get it. And so with that, off we went. Now, there's so, so much still there. Every day there's a, there's a Clorox or a great barrel company or the, every day there's somebody else. Right now, there's a major announcement with tourism right on our fingertips. Right now, there's an incredible high-tech thing that's going to happen right on our fingertips there's so many, many opportunities right within our grasp. Now, we have to believe. We've got to believe one thing. We've got to believe that you are our engines. I can never thank you enough for all the roles you've played in, in whether it be Northrop Grumman. All, I mean, just think, I, I, I've got to read just a, just a, Think about this. Think about Procter & Gamble, Bombardier, Pratt & Whitney, Piotro, and I, and I always mess this up, Forentini, Enfor, uh, Chamores, Cornerstone, Barrel Company, Facebook, Clorox. Think about it. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Think about tourism, just a second. Think about if Chelsea Ruby, I don't know if she's here or not, but imagine, imagine that in West Virginia, imagine that we grew tourism at a rate last year 58% higher than the national average. It's amazing. It is amazing all the things that are happening, and they're happening right here in our state, the greatest state. So, I would say back to you just this, and I won't sit here and be with you forever, but I would say to you this, you've got a person that believes everything you believe. You've got a person that believes that we want to preserve all the greatness that we have within our state, all the beauty, all the beautiful water and the mountains and everything that we have within our state, but we have to have jobs. And we've got to have opportunity. We've got to solve these issues like our drug situation and, all, and, and we've got to make education our centerpiece. We've got to fix every single secondary road and we're trying to do it every day. It's working. It's just flat working. So at the end of the day, I would just tell you this. I'm yours. I'm here for you. There is nothing that I'm here for me. Nothing. That's all there is to it. If you ever have had anybody on the planet that genuinely subscribes to what our founding fathers did and they came to serve, they gave up something and they came to serve, not to get something. They came to serve. That's what I'm here to do. Whether you buy it or not.
Because I don't really care if you buy it or not. I know what I'm doing. Now, and at the end of the day, I'm yours. From a standpoint of our Commerce Department and our economic development people and anybody from anywhere, anytime that we can do anything, and if they aren't doing it, if you'll get a hold of me, I'll make sure they're doing it. Because they know they got an 800 pound gorilla in the room and I want just one thing and that is more and more and more goodness for West Virginia and our people. So with that being said, I really wish you the very best in your economic development council and all your, you know, learning that you can do from one another. I can congratulate you on all you've already done. I can thank you for all the help that you've given me with all the opportunities that we're making happen in West Virginia. I can also say to you just this. We are truly, truly out of the hole. But the upside is off the chart. It's off the chart what is right in front of us. And if you have the passion and the enthusiasm and the belief that I have, we'll run up this mountain and nobody will stop us. Nobody. I wish you the very best, and I can't thank you enough. And God bless you in every way, and thank you again for having me. Thank you.